Hey there, my name is Julian and welcome to MemberScript 120. And what this one is, is conditional visibility based on device type, operating system, and browser. So that is pretty vague and it encompasses a lot of things, but there are a lot of attributes here and you can really use this in any way that you want. First thing that I wanna do is just show you some examples that I've built in and kind of explain to you what it does. And then I'm gonna show you how to use it. So. Here we are on this live page and we can't see all of the attributes because, well, due to the script and the examples that I've made, they are hidden. But essentially, if you have something that only applies to a certain device type, let's say you have a button to install a Chrome extension. Well, you only want to show that on Chromium browsers. Let's say you have a button to download something on the App Store. You're not going to want to show that on an Android device. You're not going to want to show a Play Store button on an iPhone so on and so forth. So there are, you know, unlimited reasons why you may want to do this. And all I'm trying to do is show you how to do it. So now let me go through and show you in here all of the different options that we have. So first things first, actually, let me go ahead and tell you how you add this to your site. First, what you're going to need to do is get the script for member script 120. Here it is in the demo project. You can get it from the member stack site on the member script page. You're probably actually watching this video from there, so you know where it is. Click get code and click copy code. But if you're watching this from YouTube, then go to the description and you will see a link to that page where you can copy the code right there. So anyways, just copy it and then paste it wherever you need it. So if you only need to have the script on one page, put it there. If it's throughout the site, then put it there. If you need to have it on a few pages, create a component, put it in there and embed it. So it depends on your need. All that matters is the page you need it on has the code in it. So here we are, we have that code. And then all you need to do is add an attribute. So that attribute is ms-code-device-show. As we can see here, that has been applied right here. And the only other thing is attribute values. And I'm going to go ahead and walk through all of those right here in this video. Um, one thing I want to say before I do that is before any of these attribute values, you can add an exclamation mark to do the opposite. So let's say we want to show it to anyone who's not on a phone. So we want to show it to people who are on tablets and desktops. Then instead of doing tablet and desktop, we would instead just do exclamation mark mobile. So that applies for all of these. It's like reversing the rule. Now let me walk you through all of the rules. So you can do ms-code-device-show. I'm just going to say that once. Mobile. That is going to show to only people on mobile devices and very small tablets, regardless of their operating system. Tablet, again, regardless of the operating system, is going to show that element to people on a tablet. Desktop is going to show it to anyone on a larger device, anything larger than a tablet, basically. Then we have touch device. So this will display on any device that has a touch screen. So as you can see, for example, let's say you have a button to draw something with touch, then you only want to show that on a touch device. Then we have landscape, which is only going to show on any device in landscape and portrait, which obviously is going to show in portrait. Now moving on to operating systems, we have iOS. So if you show this, it's going to show on any device with iOS. So iPhones, iPads, and iPods. Then we have Android. So any device with an Android operating system is going to show if you use that attribute. Mac OS, you can write and it will show on any device using Mac OS. Windows will show on any device using Windows. Linux will show on any device using Linux. And then we have Chrome. We have Firefox, we have Safari, we have Edge, we have Opera, and we have Internet Explorer, just in case you want to make something telling people, hey, come on, you know, my website's broken on Internet Explorer, and that's on you, not me. Um, and finally, you can create conditions. So let's say you want it to show on Opera and Edge, or let's say Chromium and Edge, because Edge is Chromium, people can install Chrome extensions. You can use and so you could make the attribute, let's say edge ampersand chromium, or sorry, edge ampersand chrome. Or if you want to do or, you can use the line. So this, sorry, it's a bit confusing. It looks like a capital I. It's not. It is the straight line on your keyboard that's probably on the same key that has a backslash. Um, 
And then you can use that to create an or rule. So let's say if the person is actually, sorry, I should have used the previous example. If the person is on Edge or Chrome, show them this. The previous one and would be, let's say the person is on Opera and Mac. Then you can do that. Somebody cannot be on Edge and Chrome. So anyways, that's about it. I hope this helped. If you have any questions, please let me know in the Member Stack 2.0 Slack in the Member Scripts chat channel. I'll talk to you soon and have an excellent day.